Yo guys, what is going on? Uh, t <laughs> Today we're going to be doing a uh, video over how to um, help beginners that are trying to like, you know, get into the RSPS. First of all, my uh, volume is down a little bit. Anyways, um, yeah, no giveaway today. Sorry, this is going to be a tutorial for like people that really don't know how quite to like set up a... Uh, you know, a uh, RSPS server on their computer locally or even online. I'm not going to teach you how to do it online. It's pretty self-explanatory, though. Well, I mean, it is for me, but, like, you know, some people don't have that much computer experience or background, whatever, with um, how to go about, you know, getting an IP and, and doing all that crap. So, uh, wh what are we going to be doing? Okay, so, first of all, you guys don't even like know like anything about like how to set up a RuneScape private server. This is what it. This is what the video is about. You know, it's like literally not knowing anything. All right, so um, just for, pretend like none of that crap's even there. But um, so we're gonna. I'm gonna show you guys the downloads real quick. I'll, I'll leave them all in the description. Maybe not. Eclipse. <laughs> So download Eclipse. I know some other guys probably use a different IDE. It doesn't really matter. You could use whatever you want because then at the end of the day, you're still you know doing the same thing. It may be a little bit more quicker with uh, more shortcuts for a different IDE. As in, um, ah, I forgot. I forgot. Maybe it'll come to me later on. So you need Eclipse, Java, JRE. Just do JRE download, and then uh, yeah, and then you could do WinRAR download as well, like that. So download all that and download JDK as well. So download all that. So once you have all that downloaded, you're pretty much like ready like to download the server and to um, import it onto your computer. So, um, you know, let's uh, let's save this, I guess. Let's I guess it's already downloaded because I had the page up before. So let's show it in folder real quick and then we'll open it up and we'll start getting to it. I have to pause the video in between, like, the middle of the video because I needed to get um, my food. So, basically, what's going on right now? It's uh, I don't know what the heck is going on actually. So it, oh, it's right. Okay. Oh, okay. I was looking at that, but I didn't look underneath, and it didn't show the project. Okay. All right. I'm already messing up, guys. So just bear with me. So what you want to do is just you could you could do uh, was it control? And just press those, ignore that crap. Uh, you don't need to worry about that unless you unless you can see it, and then it, it will say like what you can do to the server, and then the all the updates and all that stuff. So, um, I got a big fart. <sighs> Maybe it wasn't a big fart, but um, let me get my orange juice real quick, and let me actually pause this so I save you guys some time. All right, um, I pause it for like ten seconds. But open up your Eclipse. <coughs> it's back when uh, RSP a JDK must be available. Okay, guys, I didn't download JDK, so let me download JDK real quick. All right, guys. So I think I got Eclipse open. All right, yeah. So we'll just launch it. It doesn't matter what directory uh, directory you're in, unless you have like a whole bunch of projects and you gotta organize it. And all that stuff, but um, sponsor of today's video is going to be uh, Orange Juice 100%. So uh, the reason why I um, had this for my sponsor and I allowed them to sponsor my videos is because when you're uh, coding and developing, you have to think, you know, and drinking orange juice, it has 100%. I don't know what this inquires when it says 100%, but all I know is that it just says 100%, so I'm guessing that makes you think smart quick you know fast this and that so yeah that's awesome bad length jug all right so when you got your clips open don't expect to all oh, this to pop up i don't even know what this is i'm just gonna delete all that crap guys i have not been on eclipse and probably a couple months especially even making rsps videos it's been a while i just uh, I just got done with college this semester. Only got two more classes, and then I'm done with my two year. That'll be going probably to a university, more than likely. So, 
um anyways about that this video is about you guys no, trying to understand and trying to learn on how to set up a uh, oh, private server. So it's like the client. Um, no source folder exists. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Don't worry about that. Um, and then do the server as well. So basically, what we're doing is we're importing it to Eclipse, so we can um, start. You know, so then Eclipse can. Like get a visual of like what this file is all about, and then you can like go down on it. You can see all the files, this and that's all organized. That's why people use IDEs, which stand, IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, which this is right here, Eclipse IDE. Anyways, about that. So once you have JDK and JRE downloaded, I don't know if this is gonna give you any errors. Actually, let's um let's run it like just like what I did real quick, so it searches all of it, so it doesn't have to do it again. Don't run it. Go to properties. Um, I don't know if this is going to throw you an error at all. And okay, so it looks like it none of the um, J, um, jar files, whatever, did not import properly. So, what you're going to have to do is click one of them and then control and click. So, you can highlight all of them. And uh, you can just remove a couple at a time so you don't mess up and misclick. And then you have to click it all over again. And then we're going to add external jars. For some servers you have to do, some servers you don't. I don't know. I don't really know the reason why it kind of doesn't import properly and this and that. So just highlight it and apply. Apply and close. Now I think you should be able to run it now. I could be wrong, but let's see. Um, usually at the bottom right, I should say like when it's actually done with the process and all that. <clears throat> Looks like it's giving me an error now. I think uh, Discord Messenger. Okay, that's fine. You don't have to worry about that. Um, all right, let's run the Java application. I don't think you have to worry about that because that has nothing to do with actually running the server. That has to do something with like when you actually probably do something with uh, Discord and all that. I could be wrong. Let's see. Um, let's run the server. This might be running off a uh, public IP, which is that IP is probably um, offline now or used somewhere else, and it's only accepting certain ports. So um, let's just run it anyways. If it's offline, we will have to change the uh, the IP and all that. But let's run it and see what happens. Um, this cat wants to sit on me, but if I allow this cat to sit on me, then I'm going to have to start itching my face. Because all your foot, you're shedding like crazy right now. Alright, so just type in whatever you want. Um, you might have to let it load. Okay, there you go. This server's pretty quick at loading. So, looks like uh, you get yourself a tour of the server and all that. Um... All right, nice interface and all that. And basically, there you go, guys. This is your server already. Looks like uh, looks like you get yourself a little error. Or something. We're going to have to take a look at this error. I might not know how to do this. I might. Let's see real quick. Unresolve the method. Server task check for error. Okay, so the only thing I'm thinking about is like going in here. Stage scene. So when you click on it, let's do this. We what we might have to do is uh, might might have to cancel that out. Let's cancel that out real quick and see what happens. Because let's see what this method even does real quick. Might have to. <coughs> Looks like this guy commented it out. Oh man. It's kind of hard to talk after when you cough, you know. So, looks like it just disappeared on me, but let's just open it up and see what happens. Maybe we have to let it load again. There we go. should load in now. And, uh, you know, just do what you were doing before. It may not work, and this is going to really upset me because now I'm getting really annoyed at this point. So, oh my gosh. Alright guys, um, I fixed it, but it's probably not the way of fixing it, but for right now, 
it's fine because you guys are just learning how to do this crap and I don't have a lot of time. So I want you to go to the Discord Messenger. I think one of the reasons why it's throwing the error is because it's not getting a jar that is supposed to um, be like there's a jar that has to probably be in the um, jar configuration path and I don't think the server um, had it for the downloads when I downloaded it. So just go over here and comment out the errors. I think it was um, this so comment those out um, as input two uh, two lines whatever and then just go back in here log in real quick um, and just continue it and it should work so that works um, as far as like making yourself owner and all that um, Let's actually test something real quick. I want to see if the server like has like a designation or directory where like stores the uh, data of the character. There's most servers do, but some servers don't, and you uh, have to fix that. So let's log out real quick. Log back in. So it looks like it does store it. Um, as far as where it stores it, it's probably um, it's probably in the saves character refresh. It's probably somewhere down here, I suppose. Refresh. So what you do in here, um, encrypted, I think you could change that, but uh, you don't want your players knowing that they could actually, you could actually see their password and all that. Put it to three or something. Oh, shoot. Um, you're supposed to be logged out when you do that. So now, and you don't have to do this for um, like, let's just say if someone donates, it should be automated. Um, if you actually have it set up correctly, if not, you can let me know. Also, um, you could do like a command where I don't think it shows the commands for like the owners. Yeah, so you're gonna have to go in there and implement that yourself and all that. But uh, I mean, as far as like trying to learn how to like do stuff on RuneScape private servers and all that, um, it really comes down to just like you know. Um, I forgot the term for it, but it's just like, you know, just going around, just messing around with stuff. As long as you're an owner, you should be able to, like, mess around with crap. Do colon colon post. Shows your position. And then uh, you can do control. And then that moves you right there and all that. So, and then you just go in your files. <coughs> and just mess around and learn. That's what I did. Uh, back then, we didn't have, I mean, we did have videos to, like, you know, relate to as far as, like, getting us through some stuff that like as far as like you know uh, moving objects this and that so there should be videos i mean it is 2021 it's not 2015 where there is nothing on youtube and you just have to do it yourself um and then as far as like receiving help you can uh, join my discord you can let me know i i will help you and all this stuff so um yeah just yeah just join my discord and let me know if you need anything or comment down below and i'll help you and all that so yeah, as far as just, like, learning, like, don't be frustrated at all if, you, like, you don't, like, if you're trying to, like, move an object and you don't know how to do that. And then another thing, um, when it comes to, like, developing and you don't know much about the language, Java, um, you can always, like, like, because if someone doesn't understand, like, what Java is and you're just looking at all this and you're just trying to, like, you know, go through it just by, like, because if you don't know us, it's like Chinese. You don't know. You don't know what it means and all that. And you're trying to like, you know, develop the server. You can develop a server without knowing Java. You just got to like know a little bit about it. Like you don't even need to know what this means and all that. You could just go in there, <coughs> like move the objects, change the name, do this and that. I'm not saying you should do that to, you know, put your server up online. You can do that. And so I have seen servers like make a decent amount of money and all that 
but it really comes down to like what you want out of RuneScape and what uh, you want your players. You know, like do you want players? Do you want money? This and that. I'm gonna tell you right now that players are not gonna get on your server and just donate to you. You know, you're you're not gonna like receive money unless you put like, you know, art work magic into your server you got to make it look nice you can't just like download the server <coughs> man i'm gonna start having a habit of that um hopefully not yeah usually uh download a server get used to it and if you feel comfortable with it put it online also if you need any help putting it online this and that let me know um this is you know this is just a video on just how to set it up not like how to do this, how to do that, but it's mainly just setting it up and, like, you actually, like, getting your foot in the door so you actually, like, can get, you know, like, you know, some, you can actually, like, you know, just see if this is what you want, not something like, you know, you got to pay some guy to, like, set up a server for you because I, I mean, I've paid guys to set up servers for me and all this and that, and, I mean, just to even see if I like it, you know, that's, that's not cool. I have to pay some guy that will probably only take like five, ten minutes to set it up for me. Just to see if I can like, you know, enjoy this, you know, enjoy this right here. Working on the private server and all that. And I probably put up at least, I'm not going to say do dozen servers, but I probably put up a couple. And I remember the first server I put up, I got over like 50 players and all that. Made a lot of money. But anyways, uh, you guys take care. Comment down below or join my Discord if you need help.